Um, Richard, this is actually for you. I know that you're an author in your own right, and I was wondering if you might ever do something with the show. You're an author in your own right? Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just agreeing with her, that's all. I was, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Would you ever, you know, work with the show, with script? Oh, know? in writing in, for Battle Star, you mean? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I think Ron Moore probably has the vision of the backstory of the show, where it's going, where it could go. It's very, very hard for uh, for anybody to step into that and really have that kind of in-depth understanding of the characters, the story arcs. Um, I think you'd really have to spend a lot more time. If this show was on for the next several years and, and we all had a chance to really get into the mythology, the backstory, and understand all of it, I think then you can step in and begin to write some really, really wonderful stories. But this is a great story. You've got to really get it to be able to write the kind of plots that this story demands. So, I would love to do it, but uh, at this point, it's going to end in next year, so uh, there's not going to be the chance to do it. So, you know. <laughs> Two years, sorry. Or, or, uh, 17 years. <laughs> What's well, he about a Starbuck? Why the hell do you believe in this crap, anyway? <laughs> I mean, if they could have another 19, you know, 19 years of this stuff going on, you never know what, what they're up to. You never know. What did she say? She said, how did Aaron feel last night after his <laughs> third uh, No, when he found out he was going to be a silent. Uh, how did I feel when I found out I was going to be a silent? I really didn't like the idea at first. I thought that you were taking a character that the fans really liked and you would make him somebody that they really hate. And so I had to keep my mouth shut because I sort of found out about it a couple months prematurely. And when they finally sat us down and said, no, indeed, you are a Cylon. I immediately phoned Ron Moore and said, what the? And he, uh, he spoke to me for about an hour and a half and explained the reasons why. And by the end of the conversation, I was turned. And uh, now having shot eight episodes, I think it's absolutely fantastic. And we are not Cylons like the other seven Cylons. We're very, very different. Can I get that for you? Oh. You'll call her back. <laughs> We're not like the other Cylons. There's a, a real difference, and uh, yeah, something I like to call, you'll see. <laughs> this question is for each of the actors. Um, I'd like to know, what about your character do you like the most, and what do you like the least? And also for the science advisor, what about the universe do you like the most, and what about the universe do you like working with the least? That's a good question. <laughs> I know, they're all like, uh, oh, wow, that's um, yeah. What? <laughs> um, I, 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 yeah. First of all, he's on the show <laughs> once in a while, um, and uh, you know, I, I, as I've told people, I love both shows for different reasons, and I love both characters for different reasons. But I, I have always been uh, a lover of great art, great writing, and I was frustrated as an actor 25 years ago playing Apollo. I love that character, but I was frustrated with where they were going with the character, and I'm sure Jamie can share a little bit of that. Um, but, but with Tom Zarek, I mean, even when I get to come in for one scene, it doesn't matter. I always get to play something really complex, really yeah. interesting, and for me, I'd almost rather be playing Tom Zarek, because it, it really challenges me as an actor. And I, I, I can't say there's much I don't like about him, because he's not what most people think. I mean, everybody comes up and says, God, you play such a great bad guy. And I thought, why guy. is he a bad guy? You know, it always seems like yeah. the guy that challenges everybody, that stands yeah. up and says, you know, sometimes they say the truth and nobody wants to hear it. And then, of course, you're the bad guy because you're the guy that's challenging the powers that be. And I just think that after reading that backstory, which I really got a chance to read, learn a little bit more about who I am, uh, you know, I thought this guy is, is a damaged guy. This guy's been through hell. But somebody who's been through hell and comes back has a lot of insights, has a lot of things to say. And again, not everybody wants to hear it. And I think after spending 25 years in prison, Tom Zarek has become very diplomatic and he's learned to play the chess game. And uh, again, the great thing is we don't know where these characters are going. But at this point, 
there's really no bad side or downside for me. I love playing this character, and I, again, like this gentleman here, I feel so blessed to be part of a show where I can do this kind of material. Every artist wants to be part of something meaningful, wants to play a great character, and want to be part of something that has something to say. <laughs> what I like most is I've always lamented that there's two things I think Hollywood in general, and, and this is changing, don't do particularly well, and that's both science and the military. And I think you can do both very well. I think we, um, in particular, the military aren't all caricatures, they're not all heroes, and they're not all baby killers. They have their issues, they're real people, and they, they act like people in the military. The science is honored. They, they actually listen to me. Um, I have military background, so I, well, half of what I recommend is actually military stuff as opposed to just straight science. So they listen to all, you know, across the board, and the fact that they honor both of those things is what, is what thrills me to death. As far as what I like least, uh, uh, God, that's tough. In fact, we're ending soon, too, too darn soon. That's what Bob the hell out of me. I, I don't like the fact that we're ending. I don't think we, uh, we're done with the story. I think we, we really should have gone five years. and. And as far as working in the universe itself, I, I can't think of anything I dislike. The fact that we're ending soon bugs, bugs me out. <laughs> I have technically two questions. Um, the first one is, yesterday y'all were so eloquent about the depth and the meaning and all of the personal drama and struggle and the journey. But what's your favorite comedic bits that come through, through that journey? And for the British actors, what are the differences working in Vancouver as opposed to working for the BBC? There was a key word I missed in the first part of your question. Medic. Comedic. Thematic. Comedic. Comedic. Oh, laughs. Sorry. Comedy? Um, yes, ma'am. Have you seen this show? <laughs> I don't think the chief's done anything funny in his life. Uh, Baltar's funny. Did I say James Cameron's done? Baltar's funny. Sorry, it's funny. I beg your pardon? I married Callie. <laughs> I beat the hell out of her. Someone's got a shirt that says, nothing says forgiveness, like having the baby of the man who beat the shit out of you. Wow. <laughs> what's, what's the best comedic bit? I got nothing that's funny. I don't remember. I've never laughed once watching this show. You are a sadist, madam. <laughs> Working in Vancouver to work at BBC Food, uh, caterers. Uh, we are catered for by Rachel and Anthony and the most amazing cooks at uh, Tivoli and Rachel. And um, the food is second to none. If you work for the BBC, the food is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Chips and mash and fried fish, it's all yellow. <laughs> and, the tea yellow. and the cup of tea is yellow. <laughs> and the peas are pretty yellow, that's true. They're blanched. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the food uh, is the big difference. Um, and, and, and the other difference... Well, the actors are yellow, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very much. Yeah. Um, that, that would be the big difference. And, and, and we don't say A at the end of every sentence. No, I'm doing A. 